Hi everyone and welcome to another match in my tooth and nail series. We're on the play and this hand this hand might be good against a slower deck but we don't know yet what we're up against so let's see maybe we won't regret this decision okay a swamp and a disruption spell, okay so we are not getting far with the cards we have in hand we need to, to draw some good ramp oh, you tap pro, that's fine I'm naming green just in case we can get red with fetch land Interesting. Is it some kind of a meal combo with this guy? What does it do? Okay, so probably mind crank combo. Another Tatsis. Probably taking Nissa. Exactly. And there's mind crack. So opponent will have infinite combo. I think he will. Because this, whenever I lose life, I put that many cards into my graveyard. And this, whenever a card is put into a graveyard, I lose life. Okay, so they loop. Whenever I lose life, or whenever I put a card into my graveyard. Okay. So let's get Blast Zone and hope we won't get any cards into our graveyard. Or we won't lose life. Oh! Opponent's passing. World Breaker. Okay. So let's preemptively cast it. And get rid of Mind Crank. Okay, opponent activates it. Okay, this is looking good so far. We got some lucky top decks. Next turn we're probably winning unless opponent has some way to kill us. And snaring bridge. Good thing we got that blast zone. If opponent had that ghost quarter earlier the previous turn we would be dead by now okay so I need to charge it to three so I will need four mana and I will be left with one two three four so we can't cast anything else here so we're going to pass Okay, opponent plays mind crack. I think opponent got us. He will get our blast zone with Ghost Quarter. Oh, I put only two counters on it. I meant to put more okay do I have any answers to bridge after I blow a blast zone Kessick wolf run with goose let's just blow it up before he has mana to activate his task mantle Guild Mage. 
we'll need to draw our way to Tutor Ulamog or get Gilded Goose. But even with Gilded Goose, we might not be able to do it because he can Ghost Quarter Cassie Wolfram. Okay, there's Fierce Empath. That's fantastic. Wait, if I cast it right now, I will have six, seven, eight mana. Okay, let's get Ulamog and cast Xenagos. Raven's Crime. Okay, so if opponent has another land to discard our Ulamog, we're in a bad shape. Okay, we take free from Shrieking Affliction. Okay, opponent uses Dusk Mantle. So whenever a card is put into opponent's graveyard from anywhere this turn. We lose one life, but we didn't put any in our graveyard. Okay, so let's just cast Ulamog. Okay, that was enough. Looks like it. Okay, what do I want against the Mind Crank combo? This can prevent us from losing life. This can't. Blast Zone can get rid of both in Snaring Bridge and his combo. Okay, so there will be a lot of cards we need to sideboard out. I'm going to get rid of Panglacial Worm actually. Maybe I don't need that many Madcap experiments. And two more cards. Maybe one tooth and nail. And a pilgrimage. Let's see how it will do. We're up to 23 lands because I want to keep two blast zones and a Cassie Wolfram. And I'm not keen on cutting the colored lands. Okay, this has double blast zone, but very poor ramp. I mean, it has answers, so let's see how it goes. Opponent leads with Totsis, <laughs> so we are left with five lands and a tooth and nail. <laughs> We're at the mercy of top decks. Speaking of one, there's Gilded Goose. Oh, that's a big one. So this is some kind of a hybrid deck, I guess, with both discard payoffs, like Shrieking Affliction and Infinite Combo. Okay, let's just pray opponent doesn't have second uh, smallpox. Okay, there's a part of the combo. We'll play Blast Zone and charge it up to have two charge counters on it. Okay, opponent uses single mode to check our hand, but there's nothing in it. Oh, 
Arbor Elf, that's nice. So let's play it, crack a, f crack a food token, and pass the turn. Emrakul. Well, that's the most expensive spell we can't cast yet, but we've been pretty lucky so far with the draws, so I'm not going to complain. Let's just attack for one and pass. Opponent is at 12 already. Where did he lose all his life from? Raven's Crime, okay. Charge up another one. Classic Wolf Run, but we don't have red. I'm named Green with this Utopia Sprawl. So, here comes the Elf Beatdown. What's in opponent's graveyard? Ghost Quarter, Totsis, Smallpox, and Raven's Crime. There's an snaring bridge, okay. We can still attack through it though. I won't be charging up one of these two free just yet. Oh, Nissan, that's perfect. Maybe I shouldn't have animated the enchanted land. But maybe it won't matter. Opponent casts Unmoored Ego. I mean, I'm fine with this. Unmoored Ego is strong against Tooth and Nail only if we have a singular win condition against a very specific deck. Okay, opponent named Ulhamog. So let's charge up this blast zone and get rid of ensnaring bridge. Okay, fierce empath. That's fine. So first we blow up the bridge, untap the land, cast this guy. And what do we get? I guess it has to be World Breaker because this we can get back with all the colorless lands we have. But for now I will not cast it and just attack for 6. Leaving mana open to activate Blast Zone in case we need it. Okay, fine. Okay, I don't think opponent has any answers to World Breaker that could prevent me from exiling this um, bridge. And looks like we have won. Exactly.